We have an NHL trade to discuss between the Boston Bruins and the Vancouver Canucks. We'll discuss the details coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have an NHL trade to talk about this evening. Uh, we did talk earlier about a rejected trade that the Vancouver Canucks were dealing with. Well, this one was not rejected, and we'll see how much of a help it is for them. Uh, they've acquired former uh, second-round pick in 2017, Jack Studnika from the Boston Bruins, in exchange for goaltender and prospect goalie Michael DiPietro and the prospect defenseman Jonathan Murenberg. Now, um, we know DiPietro has been wanting out of Vancouver for a while, wanted more of an opportunity. Not sure he's really going to get that in Boston. Obviously, they have a pretty solid tandem uh, at the NHL level between uh, Jeremy Swayman and Linus Allmark. So we'll see how things work out for him there. I mean, he may be able to get more playing time at the AHL level. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. Of course, Jack Stadnika, uh, a pretty promising prospect at one point, um, has failed to get a full-time spot in the Bruins lineup over the past couple of years. It's probably time for a fresh start for him. Uh, that's probably be pretty clear, especially after bringing back, uh, you know, uh, David Krejci and all these other guys that they brought into this lineup this year. There really wasn't a clear-cut spot for Stanika. Uh, I'm not really sure he's one of those guys that can necessarily play bottom six. I think he needs to play with more offensive players. So, um, you know, obviously Vancouver's going through a tough schedule right now we'll see if they can benefit from this and if he can get more of an opportunity of course the the prospect defense when they gave up though uh Murnberg going to the Bruins he looks like a pretty solid guy he was a 2021 fifth round pick but he's a right shot Swedish defenseman 6'3 over I think almost 215 220 pounds like he looks like a pretty solid prospect D I'm a little bit surprised they included him in this deal. Now, Di Pietro totally makes sense. I get that. Even Stadnika from the Bruins makes sense as well. Um, there was word that the Bruins may move Mike Riley too. I thought maybe when I first heard that there was a deal going down between the Bruins and Canucks, I kind of half wondered if he might be included somehow, given that the you know the Canucks blue line is so uh, beaten up right now and uh, so many injuries back there. Um, but uh, we'll see how this works out for both sides. Uh, I'm not sure... Like I said, the, the surprising part for me is the prospect D included on the uh, the Canucks side going to Boston. Uh, I wonder if they may regret that down the road, but sometimes prospects don't you know don't almost turn out to be what you expect. And like I said, he's just a guy that to me looks like a pretty solid right shot D prospect. I probably wouldn't have moved him within like a year of, of uh, drafting him, but uh, you know at the same time, I guess you have to give something to get something. But uh, you know Stanika wouldn't think had tremendous value on his own given that he hasn't except like failed to be a full-time NHLer at this stage of his career after you know being drafted in 2017 so we'll see Stanika hopefully gets more of a chance these guys will go to Boston Di Pietro we'll see if he can get more chance there and see how this all works out so let me know your thoughts on this trade uh, of course uh, you know Vancouver has many more things to work on here I you know I'm surprised we haven't seen something sooner and this isn't going to be the the big earth-shattering move that we thought that the Rutherford might pull off here. Sounds like they're going to be a little bit more patient and prudent with getting something, uh, you know, bigger done, and they'll take their time to make sure they don't make a deal that they live to regret. So let me know your thoughts on this deal down in the comments. We'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and stick around. We'll keep you up to date with the latest news, rumors, and analysis on all 32 NHL teams. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.